Yeah. Something is wrong and we gotta figure out which one. I think what we have to do because to get this accurate. Got over there seven, eight, seven, nine. Okay, that's that's about that's about level. So it's about eight feet. Seven nine. Seven nine. So it's gonna be eight feet. So it's gonna okay. be about eight feet. Let's so the say, wall is gonna be eight six feet. feet. Eight feet, Jeff, as well. All right, so when dealing with peers, you for sure got to have your thinking cap on. Hope everyone is doing well, staying positive. And this was supposed to be the first video of this playlist, the longest concrete retaining wall on YouTube. I'm just now getting to it. The link is below for this playlist. Check it out after this video. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to walk you guys through the process of us building, placing, and pouring these uh, concrete piers. All the piers are about 10 foot on center, 24 inches in diameter. They're about 12 to 14 feet deep. All the cages were built out of number six for the verticals and number four for the squares. So let's get into it. As always, if you guys have any questions, any comments, leave those down below. Greatly appreciate it. So to get started, we had to cut our number four rebar to the right size to make the squares for the cages, approximately 14 to 16 per cage. Once we cut the number four, we then cut the number six vertical, approximately eight per cage. Once these were cut, we use our rebar bender to bend the number four squares. To bend the number four to squares. This little machine is a real time saver. I cannot imagine doing this with a manual rebar bender or cutter. Probably still be bending. With this rebar bender, we're able to bend three number fours or three number fives at the same time. We also could bend two number six and one number seven so it's definitely a time saver a rebar cutter we're able to cut two number fives and three number fours at the same time so having the right tools the team experience is key when it comes to building a retaining wall especially something this size and if you're in the sacramento bay area you can hit us up if you're looking to get a retaining wall done some concrete work done or some modern landscape work done all our information is below All right, so we get ready to start building these uh, cages for the piers. And so what we did, since we got about 45 of them to make, 30 of them, I'm sorry, we kind of made these little indentions. And so how you see it set up here, is basically how it's gonna go in the pier. So it's like a little template JD made. I had to give him credit for this. And then each one just kind of sits in here and from there, we just build it out. So this is the first one. We're gonna see how it goes. She'll work pretty. So once we got the first cage set up, we ended up bringing it around to the front. It wasn't as heavy as we thought it was going to be, but we ended up bringing the setup around to the front so it could be easier for the excavator uh, to lift them and place them in each hole.
Que si la baja y la... Alright, so you guys can follow us on Instagram, kind of give the behind the scenes on what it takes to build this retaining wall and any other project uh, that we have going on. Also, having the right equipment up here definitely helped us out when placing these cages into the hole. So definitely send a shout out to George and his two sons that kind of been killing it up here. They was up here prior to us starting. They did all our excavation for the uh, footings, piers and so forth. And they also did excavation for pretty much building this house so definitely send a shout out to those guys they definitely been killing it other than that we're gonna let this video ride out a little bit so check it out hope you guys are enjoying again if you got any questions any comments leave those down below while you're down there hit the like button happy holidays continue to enjoy So all together, it took us about an hour to pour these piers. There's about 18 yards of concrete, which is two trucks. Each pier was about 24 inches in diameter, about 12 to 14 feet tall, and about 10 feet on center. Now, the crazy thing is, before the concrete came, there was no water in the holes. And so we started at the top and we worked our way down. But by the time we got down to this last pier, close to the uh, exit here, uh, it was about three feet of water. So we ended up pouring that when we poured the gray bean. Now you can check that video out here by clicking here and you'll be able to see what it took for us to actually frame, pour, and build the rest of this wall here. So as always, hang around people that are positive. 
and it's cool to ask for help. Appreciate you guys. Oh.